so I know you guys have been talking. I know in the past videos you guys have listening. If you listen, I've been talking about. Oh, this is a good video, by the way. I've been talking about um, um, assembly of champions, and it's for the game Paladins that I play a lot. And so, in case you're wondering what it is, well, this is basically it. So, assembly of champions, same champions in ABC. Is a player advocacy group consisting of players elected by Evil Mojo Games community, Paladins Game community, to provide continuous feedback for the development team at Evil Mojo Games. The Simple Champions bring consecutive feedback from the community, represents community interests across all demographics and platforms, and has as a focus group for Paladins initiatives. These people are to communicate with the um, game developers and the player base, as well as go to content meetings and discuss future updates in the, in the potential developer commentary now I myself have played this game for such a long time and I feel like I am worthy to be a candidate and worthy to be on top of it and I'll explain that later so in the description below and, and in the comics pin you will find this link if we have if we don't have a high res account very simple you can go on the top right if we talk about your account stuff and you can just make it if you do have one you want to sign in with either your smite or your paladins, and both of them is your high res account. So you want to sign in with your account information and scroll down all the way to the bottom. And over here, you can see a lot of people. You can separate by if people are playing by a computer, PS4, Xbox, or Switch. For me, I'm a PC person, and my username is Trinity, lowercase T R E N 1 T Y. So, let's get for it. So, I am playing on a PC. I'm from the United States, Indiana. It's boring here. Please give me something to do. And I started around OB46. For the people who don't know when that was, there was an old update around three years ago. So, I've been playing this game for over three years. I have experience. I'm a little veteran of this game community. Now, one of the questions we made a when we registered for it. It has if we could do a change one thing in Paladins to make the game better, what would it be? To me, I would say it would change the tutorial. Now, people say like, well, your tutorial you gotta learn how to move, how to shoot, and use some of the abilities. Well, yes, it does that, but it ignores three important things that make the game so different. First one, talk about the talent, which how you define a play style of what you're doing at. So, like, a certain ability would have such a big change that it has to be catered for a different style of play, which is why Paladin is so good because you not, because I play frontline does not mean I have to play this frontline in a specific way. I can play as a flank, I can play as an off tank, I can play as a point tank, I can play as a pack line. It doesn't matter. You can choose how you want to do it, and that's awesome. That's what makes this game so different. And the combo is with card loadouts, how to back up these talents or to make one ability last shorter or make one ability have more knockback or crowd control or something else. And with the items, that's how you can counter the team. That's how you do counter play. Like these three fundamental things that Paladins has is not in the current tutorial. And, if, and this game is going to grow. You need people to actually know what this game has. So if you can't grow a game because your game itself doesn't cater to new people. How are you going to do all these other updates like lore or community involvement? Or even fix a matchmaking system if the people in these matchmaking are clueless. You gotta change it. But honestly, even I understand how important that is. It's not the first issue. In fact, the first issue, I want to counter the balancing of champions and how it's received. Personally, I feel like the amount of feedback from the community when it comes to balancing people is not properly corrected. See, the main issue when it comes to balancing for anybody who's working on the game company or paid attention to them is that balancing is hard. You, you're you not going to have one option that will fit everybody's needs, but you can make polls and you can get feedback and get as close to that. I have not seen, sorry, I don't see many developers and paladins or content creators of that choice to even do this. Like, you don't get feedback a lot, and I feel like it needs to be more. And as an AOC candidate, it's their job to do exactly that. Not many AOC candidates do that, hence why only two of them are reapplying. But, like, I want to make a difference, and I feel like I can. 
And the way balancing champions catering to the majority of the player base, I think that's important. And even take voice pack from pros, from people who started new to people who are veterans to the game, or people who just been playing playing the game for like a few months. Get a bunch of feedback and find the best common ground that please everybody's goals as best as you can. And not everybody like it. People need to understand. But it's the the fact that we even get the motion to do it. And I feel like I can do that easily through this channel, through Reddit, through whatever happens. I can get feedback and I can persuade it away. I talk to people for a living. If you see my way on YouTube videos, I mentioned I do martial arts. I teach martial arts. That's what I do for a living. I can do this. And I feel like I have the experience of listening to feedback and adjusting to issues to do that. I'm very excited for this. Um, I've been able to get back to the community that I decided so much. Paladins. I, this game really defined my playstyle for everything I do. In fact, I'm starting to record Paladins content when I get the chance. I've played this game for almost last over three years now. Over 46. And I've seen everything this game, this game has done since then. I've seen all the good updates. I've seen all the bad updates. I've seen all the champions release. I've seen all the trailers. I've seen all the events. I seen I went through OB64, which is a horrible time period. I've been through all of this. I am. I have a lot of experience and a lot of veteranship to talk about things and have knowledge about it, or talk about the history of the game and be able to relate to the people, relate to other people who's playing games for such a long time, and even introduce new people. I found strategies. That I feel like I have done that I can help other people so they don't make the same mistakes I did. I personally believe that if you get a new set of people playing the game that know what they're doing, that learn from others, then overall matchmaking will be so much better because you're not going to have a bunch of brain dead people playing the game. These people will know what they're doing, they will get at least somewhat more comfortable than what they are now, and really it's just going to be a better experience for everybody. And I want to do this. And I want my philosophy to go through because I believe it can work. If we don't know much about me, well, that's what I want. So, if you don't know, my first name is Elijah. I am Indiana native of the United States. So, Indiana, please give me something to do. Please let me get this. I am 19 years old. I go to a local community college, and I am a certified Taekwondo martial arts instructor. If you see, if you scroll back to my video, you see me getting pied in the face for something last summer. When it comes to giving ideas, I'm very creative. I kind of have to do that because my teaching style is different than teaching like school, and I always act like a team leader. Always when I play the game, you can ask anybody who knows me that played with me on Discord that or even online that I give different feedback and I try to flex things a little bit to make them cater to them. I have a background talking to other people like in problem solving. Like I said, I'm a martial arts instructor. I have to be able to adapt to other people because some people learn things differently and for me to recognize as a teacher really, and that's what I'm going for, I'm going for a teaching degree. As to me to be able to recognize and adapt to solve everybody's specific issues, I think that's important. That's the communicative part. That's the idea of me giving feedback to you, the audience, or the people I play with, and make them better. So they don't have to do the same stuff, the same mistakes, and go through the same pain as I did. I want to make things easy for people, and I want the game to be easy for everybody else, but also fun and not stressful. I play the community for, for me, just as I play the game, for the most part, the fun of it. I am very competitive. I get very competitive and I understand how important to winning. In fact, I should get top in the But at the end, I'm still having fun for most of the days I play this game. I mean, if I, like, I don't get paid to do content. I don't, I'm not even getting paid through YouTube. I don't have any sponsorships. I'm just an optimistic, regular Joe. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to make this game great. I'm very optimistic. I really see things in the bad side. And I'll be doing martial arts for seven years. That's just growing on me. I talk to people on Discord who doesn't like or doesn't agree with my positive thinking and tend to be a little bit negative. And no, I respect their decisions. I respect their opinions and the statements, but I'm going to stay positive and I'm going to stay hopeful as much as I can. I believe this 
games can improve. You just need the right people who understands fundamentals on how a game or how something will improve over time. You can't rush it. It's a one year thing, AOC 2020, I get 12 months. That's 12 months of me trying to make a player base more familiar with the game, more experienced, more interactive, and overall a better place for everybody to play. That's my goal. And I'm gonna do whatever it takes to achieve it. Whether I'm sick or whether some college type of game away, I'm gonna try my best to make this through. Obviously I'm gonna put college and education before this, but that's a me use of logic. I want this. This is a good career opportunity that I can use for future, especially since I'm going to teaching for my college degree, be able to be part of a community and basically be a community manager and collect feedback. That is gonna be super vital for my resume and for me to build upon this, to be a better person and maybe even re go for it in 2021 because I'm half experienced when it comes to talking to other people. You know what? I may talk about balance issues on, you know, the official Paladin's Discord, which here I may have like balance issues that not many people agree with, but in general sense, I know I'm talking because I'm talking from experience and I analyze things and I've always been that type of person. So to recap, so, um, in the description below and in the comments, I will link this website and really sign in, make an account, look at my user Trinity, and it means so much that if you can cast a vote for me, you can vote up to three people so you can spill around, listen, you know, and play on Xbox, potentially you look at Xbox candidates or your PC, look at the candidates, PC people or Switch, you know, this all these cross platform, which makes the game awesome. So whether you play on Switch, Xbox, PS4, or PC, you can um, cater to what you play with and for the people who play the same thing. The reason why you have different things because since this game is cross-platform, you can have people playing from different consoles and you can't have to adjust for that, making updates that fit everybody. So, at the end of the day, it really means a lot if I get the support from you, my community, and... I just want that for the better of everybody.